You know, if you had to be good at uh, one position in the golf swing, most everybody would say impact. And uh, most instructors would tell you that impact is definitely the most important position in the golf swing because that's what determines where the ball goes. But it seems interesting because nobody ever practices it. So I'm, I'm going to give you some tips on how to practice impact and what the position should look like. What I have here is actually a, a machine that I invented called the impact station. And at address, this is where I am at address. My hands are opposite the inside of my left thigh here. And uh, I've got the right setup position. Then at impact, my hands are going to be more forward. They're going to actually raise slightly and be more forward. And my hips are going to be more open. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make practice swings. And I'm going to come down. And I'm going to try to touch the shaft and the head exactly at the same time. So I'm taking it up, coming into impact position, trying to get it in there. And when I get it into this position, I'm going to hold that spot and try to get, create that feeling. Now, you won't have one of these at home, but what you can do is use a 2 by 4 You can set a 2 by 4 on the ground where the face is square, take it up, and work on coming down into impact position and hold that position for a few seconds, then step back and hit a golf shot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it up. I'm going to come down. I'm in position here. I can feel that. I'm going to step back here, and I'm going to try to copy that same thing. So I, my feeling at impact, I felt the same exact position that I was rehearsing. So looking at it from a different view, if I turn this this way, so that we can kind of see the down the line view, here's my address position, here's my impact position. So because I have an angle here, when you swing and the club gets going faster, what happens is it's going to straighten out. Just like if I stand here with an angle, and I spin in circles, this is going to straighten out because it seeks the shaft seeks a right angle to the spine. So that's why the handle needs to raise in, as you come into impact. The other thing that you're going to notice when I'm practicing impact is my shoulders are still square. Don't do this. This is not good because that's going to affect the plane coming into the ball. That's going to not be right. So you want to keep the shoulders square. My hips are open. And your right arm needs to stay under your left. So at address, there's my address position. Like I said, when I go into impact, you can still see the right arm under the left. OK, so if I do this in this direction now, we have our board. We put some balls here. So I set up, take it back, come down, rehearse that position, hold it. Step right back. Then I just go back and forth between working on my impact position and holding. It's very important that you hold that position. It's very important that you have the club on the ground and put some pressure into the ground. Don't hit the board and hold it up in the air because that's not the same as a good impact position. <clears throat> so if I do that and I work back and forth, I'm going to get a lot more quality time in my practice rather than just hitting balls one right after the other and hoping that I get into that good impact position. One last thing that I want to, that's important in creating a good impact position, if I take this impact bag here, I put a shaft in front of it. If I'm coming down on the right plane, this bag is going to rotate to the right. Okay, if I come down, if I use my shoulders like I was talking about, now the bag goes to the left. And if I do that, that's going to create an early release of the club, and it's not going to allow me to get my hands forward where I can compress and hit down on the golf ball. So it's important when you do work on impact that the golf club is always coming on plane from the inside that would make that bag rotate to the right. So. <clears throat> If you want some information on getting one of those impact bags, you can always go to my website, mikebender.com, and we have a product line in there. Any of the products that you see here, you can look at it, and, and uh, you can order them that way. But it, you got to have tools. you got to have feedback to hit better shots and to improve your golf swing. So work on your impact position and uh, see if you don't start gaining some distance and consistency.